You know, I have to admit, this is one of the coolest stops that we've done. You may or may not know that Baltimore is the birthplace of the Star Spangled Banner, also the birthplace of the American Railroad, and also the birthplace of American icon Babe Ruth. We're going to head inside the Babe Ruth Birthplace and Museum and talk to the executive director, Sean Byrne. Sean, how's it going? Welcome to Baltimore. Hey, good to be here. What can you tell us about this place? Well, this is where Babe Ruth was born. Uh, most people don't know that he's from Baltimore and born in Baltimore, and we're, we're lucky to have the row house in which it all started. You were telling me a little bit earlier about how Babe Ruth got his name. I think fans would be interested about hearing that. Well, Babe was a student at the St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys. It was a reform school uh, here in Baltimore, and uh, baseball was sort of a reward and he was a phenomenal player out there and Jack Dunn who was the owner and manager of the International League Orioles here in Baltimore heard that there was this great player that he had to go see. He went out, saw Bay play, said I want him. Uh, but the brothers at the school said you can't have him. He's still a minor, you've got to sign custody papers. Dunn's like where do I sign? Becomes his legal guardian and sends him down to Fayetteville, North Carolina for spring training. When he gets there, all of his former, uh, his players, his teammates, were kind of teasing Jack Dunn a little bit, saying, hey, have you seen Dunny's new baby? Have you seen Dunny's new babe? And that's where the name starts. And the name stuck. George Herman Ruth, the babe. So this is the actual house in which he was born. The museum consists of four row houses and a small addition, but this is the original house. This was his uh, maternal grandfather's house, and in those days, women didn't go to a hospital to deliver a baby they went back home and so babe is delivered in this room up here this front room um, by a midwife named Minnie Graff his mother came here she wanted to be with her mother this is where this is where it happened so you've heard the story of Yankee Stadium being referred to as the, the house that Ruth built well this is the house that built Ruth you know when people think about Babe Ruth a lot of people remember the called shot the famed called shot. What's your uh, recollection of that? What's the truth to it? One of the greatest moments in sports history. It's still recalled now. Um, yeah, 1932 World Series. The Yankees are playing the Cubs. Uh, it's a pretty intense game. Uh, and, uh, and Ruth is kind of arguing and bantering against the Cubs. And it got quite personal at times. And uh, yeah, he, comes up to, he comes up to the plate and Charlie Root puts a couple past him. He acknowledges both of them and then he points out to the field. That's the story. Uh, but was he pointing to Charlie Root? Was he pointing to the Cubs bench? Was he pointing and saying, I'm going to send the next one out? Um, what he does do is then he does exactly that. He sends a home run out, one of the longest home runs in Wrigley uh, history. And uh, as he's rounding the bases, he's still arguing and bantering back and forth. And again, this was not, this wasn't, uh, you know, in fun. This was a pretty intense thing going on between the, the Cubs and him. You know, part of Babe Ruth's legacy, obviously what he did on the baseball field, but what about, you know, the way he was an ambassador to the game to the, to the younger folks? He's the ultimate American success story. Becomes the greatest name in baseball, and kids just wanted to be like him. They wanted to emulate him. They wanted to play baseball because Babe Ruth played baseball. Um, he becomes the inspiration for a generation. Many of those people, those that are still alive, are now elderly and still talk about Babe Ruth in a way that I've never heard anyone else talk about a baseball player. Thank you.